G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 online money method video. In this video today I'm going to show you five of the best ways to make money as a beginner in GTA 5 online. Sound good? Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe and without further ado let's go. Checking off this list in the number five spot we have got GTA 5 online weekly updates. Pretty much this happens every Thursday where Rockstar will go ahead and change the game tunables and they will pretty much update the game. I'll put some things on discounts such as vehicles and sometimes even businesses so it's a great time to rank up your character as you can be making double if not triple money and RP on particular game modes. Sometimes this can be just as simple as making your way to Legion Square and heading into the featured series under the Rockstar featured series icon here you can press left d-pad to go on call for a job and I'd say nine times out of ten you'll get pulled into a full lobby especially after the bottom dollar bounties update matchmaking is pretty good. So I would say most commonly adversary modes are going to be your best bet or most commonly what I would find Rockstar does put on for double money if not triple money payouts as well as RP. Sometimes this could also just entail contact missions or stunt races in particular weeks or even better it could entail one business is paying double or triple money on sell missions. That business you could also pick up for a discounted price within that week. For example we have had a gun running week where the bunker is paying double money on sell missions and a 30% discount. The nightclub business for another example, my personal favorite has got to be the Dr. Dre contract when that's paying double money. However, that doesn't really happen too often. But all in all, if you are a beginner, keep an eye out on the Rockstar Games Newswire every Thursday and you will see what is on discount and what is paying double or triple money. So this is a great way to make some exceptional amounts of money. That is if you're a new player or you could be experienced too. Next up on this list, we have got in the number four spot, it has got to be weekly and daily time trials. Now, the first one I'm going to highly recommend you do, this is one that every single player can do as a rank one, is the weekly regular time trial. So just go to this icon on your map. The icon will be colored purple and will look like a stopwatch. Personally, I would go with a Batty 801 motorcycle. You can pick this up off of Southern San Andreas Super Autos, the website for $15,000. And when you're ready, you have got your motorcycle, just make your way into the vicinity of the stop starting area. It'll be the purple circle on the ground and just press right d-pad to begin the time trial. Then just press the pause button, make your way to the map and set a waypoint to the end destination. From here, back out of the map, bring up your phone, select the job list and quit the job. Now when you are ready, just press right d-pad and begin your ascent to the end destination of the time trial. So you may be a little bit unfamiliar with what we have just done there, but we have pretty much just set an end destination for this time trial as typically it will not set a waypoint. When you just aimlessly go into starting the time trial. So just simply make your way to the end destination and the one tip I would recommend with this as you are using a motorcycle is just pull back on your left analog stick to perform a wheelie and that will help you gain some top speed. By completing the time trial within the part time you will be rewarded with $100,000 and this will be a weekly occurrence so the time trial will update every Thursday. Now there's actually another time trial that everyone can complete as a rank one and that is the junk energy time trial. So just come to this icon on your map, you'll see it looks like a bicycle, again colored purple. So just make your way within the vicinity of the starting area and press right d-pad to begin the time trial. So pretty much this is a bicycle time trial where you'll need to use some boost as well as the advantage of bunny hopping to make your way through all checkpoints to the end point within the part time. Your boost will only regenerate if you are not using it and as long as you are not jumping or bunny hopping. For those of you unfamiliar, for PlayStation players it will be R1 to bunny hop and for xbox it will be rt a good way to get some boost or momentum is to repetitively press the bunny hop button whether it's r1 or rt for you and at the same time try to balance that bike pushing forward on your left analog stick if you do this correctly you will be able to gain some speed pretty quickly and by completing the time trial you'll make fifty thousand dollars and like i mentioned earlier this will update every day so you'll be able to complete seven of these within a week in the number three spot next up on this list we have got daily collectibles. Now daily collectibles are actually a pretty vital part of making some extra money in GTA 5 Online, especially when it comes to being a new player. Now there's quite a few different daily collectibles, with the first of 
them being G's cache. It'll look like a purple box on your map. It'll pop up at random and you'll be able to go within the radar to find G's cache. How you'll know you are close to G's cache is you will hear some constant beeping getting louder and it'll simply be a box that looks like a package. So just walk up to it and press right D-pad to claim G's cache. So this is something you can do daily. It'll give you a nice little payout as well as some ammo, snacks, or even armor. Next up, you have got stash houses. Again, this will be a purple icon that looks kind of like a business icon. So you can just approach the stash house, press right D-pad to barge into whatever the lab is or lock up. Then you'll need to take out some enemies, find a sticky note with a wall safe code on it and input that code into the wall safe. Kind of similar to G's cash. However, if you do have a business that is active then what the stash house will basically do is regenerate some supplies for that business. However, if you are literally a brand new fresh player and you do not have any businesses in the game yet and you'll get quite a substantial payout of $30,000. Next up, if you come to this icon on your map, this will be the LS Tourist Board, better known as the Shoot Animals Photography Board. Pretty much this updates every day in GTA 5 Online and you can walk up to the board, press right D-pad and you'll see a list of animals that you'll need to photograph. I'll leave a link in the description down below as to how you'll be able to find each animal every day. So you can just go to that website and put in the animals that have come up on your list. This is such an easy and fun way to make some money as you just need to travel around the map and photograph those three animals. So the first two photographs will reward you with a payout of $20,000 each and the final one will give you a kicker payout of $60,000 total, bringing you to a total of $100,000 for the shoot animals photography, which you can take part in every day. Another daily collectibles event which you can take part in is the LS tags. So once again, I'll leave a link in the description to both the spray cans and also the locations which you need to go and tag some posters. So like I just mentioned there, that is pretty much the premise of what this daily collectible event is. You just need to go and collect the spray can. And once you've collected the spray can once, you don't need to do that ever again. From here, you'll need to go to five different locations around Los Santos and tag a poster. Each one rewarding you with $15,000 with the final one giving you an extra $25,000. In total, this will make you 100K every day. Next up, you want to make your way to this R icon in the center of the map out by Sandy Shores, which will be Ron. You'll see it's connected to the Los Santos Drug Wars, which was released for this update. So all you'll need to do is make your way into the yellow circle and complete the first mission, Welcome to the Truth. This is an introduction to Dax and will kick off your relationship with the man himself, eventually allowing you to take part in both the first dose and last dose missions, as well as the Fulligan jobs. Now these can be quite tricky, I must admit, the Fulligan jobs in particular can be a little difficult. Same goes for the last dose missions. Now in total, there are six first dose missions and 10 last dose missions. However, after the six first dose missions, you will actually unlock the Acid Lab, which is a great beginner friendly business to kickstart your career. And at the end of every first or last dose mission, you'll make an additional $50,000. These missions can take you anywhere between five and 15 minutes, depending on the difficulty or what your skill level is like as a player. So by completing the first mission, you'll unlock the Freak Shop, and this is where you can then go to start other missions, or alternatively, you could just give Dax a phone call and request some work. Those missions alone will also reward you with $50,000. And I gotta say, all in all, despite this being a little difficult and quite time consuming, by just completing a few missions in the background over time, the great perks will be that you now own a business, better known as the Acid Lab, as well as having the ability to stash some cash. And claiming the number one spot for by far the best way to make money as a beginner or rank one in GTA 5 Online, it has got to be the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid run by Vincent. So just simply make your way to the yellow colored V icon on your map. It'll be placed as Vincent and you can make your way into the yellow icon here, press right D-pad and begin the first mission, Slush Fund. This mission is basically just stealing some money from some money laundering businesses and delivering them back to Vincent. The second mission is quite straightforward. Now the third and fourth mission, Concealed Weapons and Hit and Run. These are missions to select your getaway vehicle as well as your weapon loadout. For concealed weapons, I'm going to recommend you go for target A, which is the Marabonte equipment. And for the hit and run mission, selecting your getaway vehicle, I would go for target C as it's a military grade vehicle. Now, after completing those, there is only one following mission, which leads into the finale. And by completing the finale, you'll make $500,000. And by it being your first time completing this, you'll make an additional $250,000. And the best thing about it, it's completely solo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you, there are a lot of different ways to make money as a beginner in comparison to when I began back in the day.
Friday. So if the video helped you out, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.